head in. So I think you got to hit the little mm -hmm. thingy. Okay. So at this point, um, there's just a couple of things I want to talk about before we even get into sort of the StreamYard. So we're using StreamYard, correct? So we're mm -hmm. on the same page. Okay. So we're using StreamYard. Are you using a premium plan or a free plan today? Because there is free. a difference. Yeah, free. Free. Okay. So there's some limitations on the free in terms of like uh, pretty much, I think, in terms of how many hours of recording you have and some basic things like that. But pretty much everything else is almost standard and the same. Um, and you can't get a recording. That's the difference between free. You can't get a recording on the free plan, but there's some hacks for that. So I'll explain that to you later. So okay. um, there's a couple of things that are going on right now with LinkedIn, which is making it a little awkward because there's changes. And I noticed last night I was on a LinkedIn live with um, Michelle Raymond over in Australia and things were not going as expected. So there was a lot of panic. So I think in the next couple of days, because LinkedIn's rolling out something, there's some unpredictability, but essentially there's several ways that you can go live. One is you can just hit the button and go live in the moment you can schedule your live in advance, which is what I do. And when you do that, you put up a, um, a graphic that advertises your live. People can see it. It, it. What you do is you schedule it in StreamYard. It posts to LinkedIn, actually posts to YouTube as well at the same time if you're co-streaming. Right. And then what happens is when you go live, that graphic is replaced with your live event. So it's kind of okay. a placeholder and later becomes your thumbnail. So it's kind of serves two purposes. Now that's what I use. And then people can click that remind me button and then it should send them an extra notification. I don't know if it really does or not, but that's right. one way to go. And people so can create... share that. So you create a custom thumbnail and upload it in StreamYard and that then handles the posting of the, that creates the event and posts it for you. Yes. Now it does, yeah, it creates the StreamYard event, doesn't create a LinkedIn event. It just creates the actual live so that on the day of the live, when you go in, you click into your scheduled session and then that's, you're going to go live in that linkedin post if that makes sense so everything stays within that post does okay, that make sense when, you, when you're going live are you doing so in linkedin or are you still going back to the stream yard you're still going website? back to stream yard you're still going okay. back to stream yard and then what happens is the magic is as you go there's no brain thinking going on you literally go into your scheduled session you hit live and then boom you're already in that post that you scheduled earlier you are actually in that post and same with on youtube and so when you're done you it's sitting there nicely in linkedin and then if you hop over to youtube if you've co-streamed which is what i do then that's sitting in youtube and all i have to do is now put it on my playlist i don't have to do any extra uploading or anything and i okay. still have the recording afterwards so, so that's if, that's the way i go created if you've created the event if you've created it in StreamYard, but you're saying that it doesn't create a LinkedIn event. Nope, just creates a LinkedIn and... post. Okay, so do you still need to go in and create a LinkedIn event independently? No, no. Okay. Now, wasn't there something that That's LinkedIn said changed. recently saying that all lives will be off the back of an event? That's what they're saying. And I don't really understand. I read that. I read that email and I do have that email up if we want to look at it. And I read it and it was just like, what are they saying? I, it was very, very confusing and it was confusing as to the timing. So this is what I think might have happened last night when I was at somebody else's LinkedIn live. They actually. So so the third way you can do it. So we talked about you can just go live. And you just go live and it creates a post in the moment in LinkedIn, but there's no thumbnail or anything like that. It'll just be literally you're going live in a post. People yeah. will see it in the notifications. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But that's how you go live in the moment. Then what I just said, which was a scheduled through StreamYard. And that creates a post in LinkedIn. And then, of course, you upload it with your description and your thumbnail and all that sort of stuff. Then the third way is you can create an event 
in LinkedIn. Now I've never done this, but a lot of people do this. Uh, I was on Margot Cargo's live yesterday. Saw, yes. Yeah. And that was an event. So she invited me to the event. She invited people. And I actually have never even done an event period, let alone a yeah, LinkedIn live either. event. But mm -hmm. that's also how Michelle Raymond went. She does uh, Raymond versus Tisdale. They do like a little round off mm -hmm. and they did it in the event. Now, last night it was panicky because everybody showed up. You know, we all got the notification that the event was up. We all went to the event. People were in the chat going, well, where are they? What's happening? Nobody was seeing anything. Is there a link? There was all this panic and they handled it well and they, they came on and everything was cool. But it, I don't know if that's because LinkedIn's doing its weird thing, but then LinkedIn was crazy yesterday with people being blown mm -hmm. out of creator mode. So who knows what was going on? So that's the other right. way, which is an event. And I don't know a lot about it. It sounds mm -hmm. like what theoretically should happen is you create an event in LinkedIn, then you go into StreamYard, and when you go to actual do your live, you'll be telling it, I want to go live to my event. I'm not sure how that magic happens. So that's sort of the missing gap in my knowledge is okay. how do you then choose, okay, I want to go into that event. And can it be a private event? So for instance, say you wanted to do a uh, live stream to the Friday Shout people, then you could create a, an event invite all your private Friday shout people go live in the event and then maybe bring in you know up to 10 people at a time rotate out in and out different mm -hmm. things but whether you can do that to a private event I'm not sure so that's the missing gap in my knowledge okay so that's worth testing to yep. find out yeah cool and so so I just wanted you to be aware that there's different ways that you can go live now if you go the route I do which is scheduling these are the rules today. It could be changing with the whole LinkedIn thing, but essentially it has to be a seven day to one hour time span. So you can't schedule it more than seven days in advance. I think that's supposed to be changing. And you can't, that, yeah. you can't make it any sooner than an hour. So we, if we wanted to go live today, we'd have to set that schedule, you know, within an hour and then come back and, and go live. Okay. So and then the last thing that I want to tell you is the one other way of going live is to do a live test. And this is what I did when I first went live. I scheduled and went live to YouTube, did not go to LinkedIn. I went to YouTube. And then what I did was I went ahead and did it to an unlisted post. So, so an unlisted YouTube. So that way nobody saw it but me. Right. So okay. that, that was a good way. If you just want to ever test out, maybe you want to test out your backgrounds, you want to test out your mic, my lighting, all that sort of thing. And you never want anyone to ever see it. Mm -hmm. Then you just go live to YouTube, but you make it to an unlisted uh, part of YouTube, you know, like private mm -hmm. or unlisted. And then that way nobody sees it, but you, and you could make it public afterwards. You could download it. That's kind of the, and that's kind of the hack with recording if you're on around. the free plan. Yeah, I get it. That, that's what I was thinking when you were saying that. But normally you would go live to LinkedIn and a public YouTube URL. And you can do that for free? I'm not sure if you can co-stream for, I, I'm not sure if you can co-stream to two places okay. or more on the free plan. So that might be the difference. And I, I started off on the free plan and then I moved up to, I was on some sort of like, I'm on a weird thing that doesn't even exist anymore. It's kind of no. like less than the pro plan. And it was like sort of a Black Friday Thanksgiving thing. And I just went, what the heck? So I went yeah. ahead and did that. <clears throat> and I, I think they got some sort of deal going on in the next 24 hours or something like that. I, I, have. I, I saw, saw that, that there's a deal going on now. I can't see that I'm going to use it enough to justify paying for this. Um, but let's let's see what the experience is like. 
uh, maybe I could try setting up the YouTube stream as we go into this now to see if I can dual stream. I'm guessing I probably can't, but it might be worth having an experiment yeah. with it. Yeah, that that definitely might be it. And then the last thing that I wanted to tell you before we hopped in is you can actually do webinars as well. So it's kind of nice to know that in the back of your head in that you could set up an event to go to YouTube and you could make it unlisted and you can schedule YouTube has a bigger time window than LinkedIn. So you could, I did an, I did a test last night just to see, and I think I could schedule like two or three weeks out and say, okay, I want it to go to YouTube. I'm going to make it my quote, quote webinar. And then mm -hmm. if I go into YouTube, I actually get the URL. So I could put that in an email. I could make this, Hey, I'm having a webinar August 15th or August 26th. There's the URL that I would send to people. I could make it gated if people, if I want to make people sign up for it or something like that. And you can also now, and I haven't done this before, but you can also do a webinar through Hopin because mm -hmm. Hopin bought StreamYard and there's apparently a free version of Hopin. I didn't even know that. And you could have a webinar with up to a hundred people in the free version of hop in and then you'd use Streamyard as sort of your studio to do your webinar so i thought that was kind of interesting to know okay that's i'm going to make a note of that because yeah. I, I do want to look into creating webinars and i uh and the zoom webinar to me is very expensive so i like it knowing, is I especially gone down if you're that not, route. yeah and especially if you're not doing a lot of webinars i can, mm. i did zoom webinar for a while but i found it very costly and i just wasn't doing enough to you know justify that cost sure, so sure. that was the other thing and then okay. the last thing is green screens this is probably really important to know you can't have a virtual background unless you have an actual green screen behind you mm -hmm. so you know i don't know if you have one or not because i see right now no, you're i've got a plain wall but it's not it's not a green screen now yeah so it won't allow you to do that however mm -hmm. there is another hack it's called um i'll have to look it up but there's a place it's by the snapchat people and you can go in and it's like a thing you have to download and StreamYard tells you to do this and you can go and download it's called like lens snap or something like that and then you download to that to your computer then you would say this is the background i want to use and then go into StreamYard, and then you can see it so that's the okay. hack and I, wow. I will send you the uh stuff on that because i know you like okay. your your well i think th these are useful tips i mean it would be good if you could present a condensed form of what you've just told me there when we actually go live um and we can just add that to me learning about the user interface once i'm actually in there okay and that will be we don't need to run for very long but it'll be a nice little learning experience so yeah cool okay so cool. shall we do it shall we do it okay so let's go so um probably the best thing to do do is i i don't know if we can go live and be in zoom at the same time but we could try that as an mm. experiment or or what we can't. could do is you could go into Streamyard. when we go live i could shut off zoom so that we're not running them at the same time i have mm. gone into the Streamyard studio mm. while i've been in zoom and recorded it with somebody before so that mm. worked but when we're ready to go live, I'll probably stop the Zoom so that we're not Fine. using up all our and, resources. And then uh, how will I be able to invite you into the stream? I'll walk, I'll, I'll walk you through we'll it. Do that. I'll walk cool. You through so it. shall I share my screen with you now? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. Okie dokie. Let's get Zoom out of the way. It's always and fun to learn to new stuff. And there's you. Okay, so uh, this is old stuff from StreamYard. I don't even know how these tests got set up, but every time I tried to go live, this is when I was blocked because I hadn't had LinkedIn Live access, but it just created these things. Okay. So I guess I can dump those now. Yeah. Okay. I can see I saw invite a guest there. Yep. So is that what I'm going to use, yep. I guess? Okay, so I'm totally clean now. So, so let's, check, let's, let's check your destinations first. So over there, 
Let's see. Okay, so you've got it set up that you can go to uh, your my LinkedIn let's... profile on my company page. Although so I don't. Let's think... see if we can add your YouTube. Yeah, I don't think company page will work because I I didn't actually ever apply for company page live access. Mm. I've only ever applied for personal, so I, I doubt that would even work. But yeah, okay. I don't think so. Okay, me. Yeah. Oh, YouTube live dashboard. Yeah, that's okay. So okay. what what happens in if any time you want me to share share my screen, I can show you where YouTube kind of fits in with the YouTube live on your studio. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. I haven't seen all this before. So it did say on the previous screen that it would take 24 to 48 hours to approve this. Oh, so I'm not expecting okay. anything to work right now. Okay. So should I, well, I don't really want to do either of these. I don't want to no. go live on YouTube right now or no. schedule a later date. No. Hmm. Maybe I come back to this another time because yep. that's not really. Yep. That might take us down a slippery slope. It's not really slope. important right now, is it? So let's yep. just kill that off. And then um, afterwards, I can show you on my YouTube sort of where you see your lives. So because in the beginning, I was like, where are they? I had no idea. I had to really hunt around. Okay. So do I now create a broadcast? Uh-huh. So this is a brand. So just in the moment, this is a brand new thing that yeah. they now have used pre-recorded video. And what yeah. that means is you could literally come in and create a recording like you can actually come in here and this is actually nice to know you can come in here and actually never go live just come in here and create a recording uh yeah. now on the free plan i don't think you actually can recreate create that recording but i can on my premium plan and mm -hmm. it's nice because i could do like a whole thing and share my screen and you know the different layouts and i could have guests and all sorts of stuff and then now what you can do is you can actually take that recording and go live with that which is yeah. interesting uh you yeah. don't get the comments so that's that's the disadvantage you don't get the comments and you're not truly live but you can actually now use those or you can um actually go live and show a video as well so just something new i haven't played with this yet because i've just done everything really live mm -hmm. so you so want new broadcast. broadcast new broadcast okay so and then you give it a title okay Okay. And your description. And this is this is what people see as soon as they're notified. So sometimes <clears throat> I put something right in that first sentence because if it doesn't grab their attention, they might not see the whole bit. They're only going to see really about that first line in the mm -hmm. notifications, but they will see the whole thing in a post, if that makes sense. Okay. Do you think that's okay? Yep. Yep. So we're not scheduling for later. Right. But that's where you do it. And so that and, and it's OK if you want to peek. But if you go in there, that's where you would upload your thumbnail. You would set the date and the time that you want to go live. It's in your time zone. But the nice thing is, is that it will show up in other people's time zones. So if you okay. schedule it, I'm going to see it in Pacific time in the United States when I look at the post. So it's really nice yep. that it does that conversion for people. And this is what you normally do is you that's, this that's how I usually do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to create a broadcast. Yep. Okay. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is you go through and you make sure it's got the right webcam, you know, is yep. it, is it whatever. And then also too, uh, you would click your mic because it's going to probably just pick the standard ones off your computer unless yeah, you Yeah, that all looks like it's set up correctly. Okay. And then that's where you put your name as well. And of yep. course you could put, you know, John Asperian, rock star of the galaxy, you know, whatever you <laughs> want it to be. Okay. So that that's that's all set up correctly. So will this now take me live when I hit nope. enter? No, no, no. Okay. This is all going behind the scenes. 
which is really nice to know so that you don't go panicky. So don't touch it yet, but in the upper right corner, that's where the go live button is. Okay, I just need to move my Zoom camera out of the way because that's just obscuring. There we go. So I can see go live. Okay. okay. So, so until see. you press that, we are not live. Nobody knows you're going live. You can go ahead and leave the studio in the panel at the bottom where it says mute, stop yeah. camp, leave studio. So if you say, what the heck? No way. You just mm -hmm. leave the studio. Nobody is any the wiser. You're done. Yeah. You're good. So until you actually click that go live button, you're fine. Now, if Thank it's you. a schedule live and you come into the studio, what you'll see is a timer and it will mm -hmm. show you, okay, you've got, you know, 10 minutes before you go live and it just, it's counting. And so yep. you then I've get that those. indication. Yep. But okay. the really nice thing to know is it still doesn't go live until you click the button. So the other day I was, I think I was with Naraj or something. I can't remember. And then all of a sudden we went, oh shoot, it's time. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like we had to click the button. So it never just boom, throws you in. So that's kind of nice to know. Okay. All right. So a couple of things. This is the number one thing that a lot of people do as a mistake. Until you're added to the stream, you wouldn't see anything. So if you came in here and you click the go live button, people yeah. would see a black screen and they would not see you. So mm -hmm. that's important to know because that's like the number one mistake so many people do when they first test. So to yeah. add yourself to the stream, you just go ahead and you uh, go to where you are your mm -hmm. little picture there and you should see add to the stream there you go okay. and nice. there you are and and because you're the only one in the stream the the layouts that are underneath you that sort of side by side real close mm -hmm. and then side by side sort of the the zoomed back a little bit with the background and then you know if you have more people yeah. all the different things you can't see those until you have somebody else or something else in the stream so for instance if you wanted to now um share a screen you could go down to where it says share screen and this is a good thing just so that you begin to see how does everything look so click on the share screen and then you can share click share your screen and then you should have a choice of a window. Um, you can you can run a PowerPoint from your local. You could run Google Drive. It looks a little weird, you know, until you kind of say which one you want. So doing the whole desktop is weird. Sometimes what I'll do is I choose like a Chrome browser. And by the way, what browser are you using? I'm Chrome. Chrome. Okay. I find that StreamYard works best through Chrome. So for instance, if you wanted to show... Uh, I don't know, YouTube, or you wanted to show a LinkedIn or a Google search or something like that. I usually just pick a window and that's just the easiest. And believe me, if you have multiple monitors, this makes it a lot easier. I just have a laptop. So I have to do some kind of scooting around because you got the stream yard up, you got a window. So I find I have to get my windows kind of narrow, if that makes sense. Yeah. Now, if you if you want to invite me into the stream right now, and we, we can still keep going with Zoom, what you do is you'd go ahead where it says invite. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, and then you can either email it to me. You can, I think Messenger is Facebook Messenger, or you can just copy and, and paste it into the LinkedIn message. Yeah. And that's that. usually what I do with people. Okay. Hit with that. There we go. Okay. So now that I've got another tab open, just leave that as a separate window. Just see how it works with sharing that. Okay, and then okay. cool. And then you can add me to the stream, and there mm -hmm. we are. Cool. cool. So you're kind of, you're are you coming in through twice now? Yeah. Let me yeah. see if I can mute myself or something. Okay. If I mute myself in the streamyard. Yeah, I can just hear you in Zoom now. 
Okay. Maybe you should mute too. Okay. Is that better? That's better. Okay, good. Now we're not going to get Sorry. that feedback. No problem. No problem. Okay. okay, so that's good. So why don't you play with the layout? So go to the second one. And so then... if I, so I'm at the moment, I'm screen sharing and both of us are on, but if I select this one, then that's half me and half my screen share. But if I wanted to make it you. Then you'd go screen. to the next one. Oh, 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 you want to switch it to me? Can do solo for you. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I make? How would I do it as you in the screen share? That's interesting. You take yourself out of the stream. Uh, okay, got it. Now it's me. Yeah, we got that message because it doesn't like the fact that we've muted. <laughs> so, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, I'll just leave that there. Okay. So I can add myself back in and we can go side by side. Yep. And then the next one over is uh, side by side, but smaller. And then the nice thing is, say you wanted me to be on the other side, you can pick yeah. up my window and drag me over. So just go and do that. In the in main the interface or in the bottom interface? Main interface. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Huh? <laughs> That's really cool. Very cool. Very cool. And okay. it's, you know, and then I think you can do it if I've never had actually more than one person. I actually have had two people, so I've fiddled around. But I suppose like, say, for instance, when we meet next week with Jeff and Kevin yeah. and Brenda, it, then we could do it here and you could rearrange everybody and put them exactly where you want, which we can't always do on a Zoom call. OK, um, now over on the right so it says live viewer comments show up on StreamYard. This is an example, but then it says below can't post comments to LinkedIn. So what's that about? I don't really know. So I, I don't, I, I think that you can't post comments in the stream and I've never done that while I've gone mm -hmm. live. I'm just so busy going live. I couldn't even worry about doing comments anyways, but yeah. I, so I don't worry about that. I, yeah. What I do is just looking at the comments, you'll see them all come up. And then literally as you click on a comment, then it yeah. will show on the screen. And then you go on to the next one, the next one. The I'm only thing that I don't like is that occasionally you get a spammy comment and you have to be very quick in your brain to say, oh gosh, that's just some guy, you know? And I had that the other day, some guy okay. in the middle of the stream it was just like, you know, hire me. <laughs> right, but the, the comments don't automatically migrate onto the screen. You've got to select them, right? You've got to select them. So if you see a comment that you don't like, you just click it again and, and you hide it. So they, they're toggle on, toggle off. Mm -hmm. That's how they work. Or just not, not click it at all, just skip right past it, right? Yeah. The only thing is they're so tiny that when you're looking at it, you can't read it until you actually get to it. Okay. Right. So, and how quick, how quick, how, how much lag is there between someone actually leaving a comment and it appearing in the StreamYard feed? Pretty immediate. Pretty immediate. Okay. That's cool. That's Pretty cool. Immediate. Yeah. Uh, then I've got banners over here. Okay. So let's have a walk through that. Okay. So if you click on the first one. Okay. So now you see that there's the banner and you can yeah. type in whatever you want. So usually what you would do is you would type in whatever your, your stream is going to be. So this would be learning out loud with Jillian and that's what you're going to call it. So if you go down to where it says, create a banner, then you can type that in. So click that and then you can type in whatever you want. Okay. Let's just give that a try. Okay. And then you would just click add banner. And it's nice because you can do this all in advance. And some people actually have many banners for their whole life. And it could be questions that they want to ask their, their guest. And so now they've got their sort of question prompts right as banners, which is kind of yeah. nice. Let's see if it works with emojis. Does it work? No, it doesn't like that. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. And they're just toggle on and toggle off. And they kind of stay. I think when you go and do you do your next stream, I think sometimes those banners all stay. So I think they kind of like you can delete them or you can keep them and reuse them over and over again. So that's kind of nice to know. Okay. 
So, so what? So, so so that banner that I've just created will be available for all future ban for all future lives until you delete it. So I think it just kind of stays in your in your sort of backstage process. Oh, that's nice. Now okay. another thing about the banners: go back in and create another banner, and mm -hmm. just say, you know, do you have a question? Just type that. Do you have a question? Okay. So then underneath that, it says scroll across the bottom, yeah. and then now add that banner, and then you should see it. There we go. Right. And then like that. It can constantly go across the bottom, which is kind of a nice thing to do. So, so, and, so can you can you put both? All oh, right, okay, yeah. sweet. Yep, yep. So you can only have one main banner and one ticker banner. But you could have multiple ones that you could switch back and forth with. Got so it. you could have a ticker banner that just says, you know, uh, who would like to win a prize, you know, and then when you click that on, so you can have a bunch of these all set up and always ready to go so that's kind of nice okay we like it so uh um, we'll do here okay okay so i've got the same options that i've or some of the same options that i've got on my hover over here yep but the only way to reorder is to do the dragging yep okay cool gotcha okay and we've got some brand so let's go to brand okay so the brand is you can put your brand color in. I believe you can only sort of have one, but it can be whatever you want. You can either put your hex code in or you can just yeah. click the box and, you know, do whatever. So it's nice. Mm -hmm. And if you look up at the top, you see that it says brand one, which means that you, if you click that down arrow at the very top, you'll see that you can have multiple, you can have up to 10. And so okay. you could have, you know, this is my brand when I'm, you know, going live on a Friday shout. This is my brand when I'm doing webinars. So you could have all sorts of different brands. And it basically creates, if you can think of it, a whole library of anything that you have in there, overlays and logos, and think of it as like a folder for each separate brand of how you want to go live. So you can have 10 of those, which is kind of nice to know. Sweet. I like it. Yeah, I, I really I like, like the shape there because it's a bit like the content DNA shape. So I'm, I'm cool with keeping that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so that's kind of cool. Then for logos, um, I you can upload a logo, you can also upload just a graphic. And I think they're, let's see if I wrote it. It's not a paid feature. Um, no, I don't think so. Let's see. Yeah, you got to upgrade. For oh, that. you got to upgrade. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So, so I wasn't expecting to be able to do that anyway. Yeah. So just down the road, you, you know, that you could um, have a logo or a graphic, which is nice to know. So overlays. Okay. So there's two things in StreamYard, backgrounds and overlays. Backgrounds are literally nothing to do with your video. They're truly what's in the back behind yeah. us. Okay. Yeah, I got you. And then we have the overlays. So the important thing with overlays is that you want to make sure that you got some transparent stuff. And of course you use, I think you use GIMP or Snap or you use something. I can't remember what you use, but I, I use Canva. Photoshop. Yeah. So just make sure that whatever you do for your overlay is got transparency. And as a matter of fact, I actually made I made a cute little overlay for you and I'm going to just send it to you real quick because I want you I won't to, be see. Able to use it though. <laughs> Why not? The premium feature. Is it? Yeah. Free plan comes with one example overlay. Check out our upgraded oh. plan. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize. It's really that. kind of you though, but. Ah, oh, rats. Okay. Yeah, customizing the background is the same. Oh, wow. That's okay. Ah. Okay. So you can't even add a color? No. So oh, that... I, mean, I can choose the leaves background, but that's it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They kind of got stingy because before <laughs> they used to allow you to do stuff. So of course, then you could have like, you know, blue in the background or green or all those different things. Yeah, and and cool. you can create anything anywhere and, and do stuff with. So Oh, that's okay. kind of a drag. I think they oh. used to have that for free. So maybe they just had so many people on the free plan that they decided to get. <laughs> yeah. So I can go HD. No, so. only on the, 
I can't even go HD. Oh no, okay. You have to be you in try that. it for seven days, but it's a pro. Okay, that's yeah. fine. That's yeah. okay. Seven twenty is fine, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I don't think I've got anything special that I want to mess around with in there. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. So if I go back to comments, then then basically I'd be ready to start the stream with you. Yes. Wouldn't I? Yes. Yes. And then we can we can walk through. Um, so at least you can screen share. So that's nice to know. You saw that yeah. we could do that. You saw that we can go back and forwards. And yeah, then we're we're good to go. So but if I stop cam, that doesn't remove. Does that remove me? Yeah. Okay. So so I can't put a holding image there. Uh, you should be able to because I think. Let's see what see what happens. Let me see what happens if I stop my cam. Does my image go blank like that too? Because I thought it would show up. So let me just okay. let me just try. Uh, I'm getting confused where I am. Let's see. Bottom left stop cam, isn't it? Yeah. This is interesting. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. It's interesting. Okay, I guess that's another thing with the. Uh, Okay. Yours now says device not connected. They will need to connect their mic or cam to, to be okay. added. So I'll, okay. Maybe. I'll mute myself again. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So maybe that's another part of the free plan because I thought with mine, I had a picture and a picture came up, but then again, maybe I'm, I'm not sure. So the important thing is, I guess, if you want remove people from the stream. So if you, if you want if you don't want them on anymore, just mm -hmm. put them back out of the stream. And at least, you know, they can still see everything. They can still see what's going on. They, they're, they're ready to go. There's, do you have the private chat? Let's just test that yes. to see if that works. Yeah. Okay. And let, me, let me see if I got that. Uh, yes, I did. So can you now respond and let's see, I'm just in a different tab now, just to see if it gives me a notification. Did you get it? Yeah, it's coming up with a red one. Okay. Cool. And then I also, can't imagine using that very often, but I suppose, I suppose it, if, you, if you're really well organized, you could keep it. Cause I, I, I'd imagine looking at the comments thing. So the only thing I really haven't seen is live comments coming in, but of course we'll have to go live to see that. Right. And, and we'll just, and you do, you do, if, as you're kind of floating around on the uh, comments window, you're going to kind of see over on the far right, you'll see like a sort of like what you do in LinkedIn, you'll see like 10 or, you know, like a little thing that alerts you that, oh, shoot, we do have some comments, we do have some okay. comments. So that's cool. good to know. That's good to know. And I'm trying to think of, is there anything else? Um, so when we actually go live in a second, we're, we're, what we're really going to do is a very, very quick recap of, if you could just recap uh, the, very quickly, these are the three ways that you can, you can actually set up StreamYard to go live on LinkedIn. Okay. And then you can maybe just, because you won't be able to see it quite the same way while we're live. Well, you will actually, because you're in the studio. Yep. You can just we can just quickly explain what the user interface features are, even though the users won't be able to see that. But that's I guess what we're recording right now. They will be able to see in the future when right. you share this video. Right. But we could maybe talk a bit about that. We don't need to stay live for long, but I think that would be that that I'd be happy with that. Okay. Sounds good. Wicked. So, do you need to now drop off Zoom, or should we just try and go live and see what happens? Guess we could go live and see what happens. Okay, so what 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 we can do is a couple of different things, um, and this is an important thing, John. When you have a guest, first mm -hmm. of all, I always tell people show up five or ten minutes earlier than the than we go live, so that we can do a check tech check and make sure everything's good. I also let people know in advance that okay, 
I'm going to send you the link the day before. I kind of give them the whole process because people, not everybody's gone live before. And I knew somebody who said, do I have to apply for live? They thought they had to have LinkedIn live before they could even be a guest. So you just have to recognize people have a whole, you know, range of different behaviors and stuff. But anyways, the one thing I always tell my guests every single time when we, when we're doing the tech check is I say stuff happens and I could disappear or you could disappear. And if that happens, don't panic. Just one of us, whoever stays behind needs to just keep talking and the other person just go use that link and come back in again and we'll keep going. Because if you drop off and I drop off, the live is over. We can't, okay. we can't go back. So once, once we're both out of it, we've lost the live and we're cooked. We can't do anything. <laughs> So okay. that's an important thing because the <clears throat> day, Niraj disappeared in the middle of the live. He just froze wow. and he disappeared. And I just kept talking, showing comments. And then boom, he came back and I had to add him back into the stream. So as the organizer, you just have to remember if that person's not added to the stream, we don't see them. So you'd, I had to add him back into the stream again, but he didn't need a new link. He just used the same link. And that's, I think, just really important to know. Okay, cool. All right, so so we, we obviously we, we both need to unmic here, otherwise no one's gonna hear us. So maybe we gotta mute ourselves in Zoom. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> so I think I need to stop share. Yeah. I, should I do that? Probably should, right? Well, yeah. I w wonder hmm, who should share. Right. <laughs> so so I'm not sharing and I'm going to mute you here or mute myself here.